Hey, first grade, last time we learned about telling time to the hour. Today, we're going to start looking at what's in between those hours. A little bit at the minutes, we're going to be referring to time to the half hour or how to tell when it's half past one hour. Here is Let's a clock review face. what we did last time. Where is time? the hour hand? Here is a clock face. Where is our hour hand? There it is. What number is it pointing toward? It's pointing at the four. So is this four o'clock? Between four and five o'clock? Or five o'clock? The hour hand is pointing at the four, so it's four o'clock. What about this clock? Let's find our hour hand. There it is. What number is it pointing toward? It's pointing toward the five. So is this four o'clock? Between four o'clock and five o'clock? Or five o'clock? If the hour hand is pointing right at the five, it's five o'clock. What about this one? Let's find our hour hand. There it is, but where is it pointing? It's in between two numbers. It's not quite on the four and not quite on the five. It's between four o'clock and five o'clock. As an hour passes, the hour hand moves from one number to the next number. When a half hour has passed, the hour hand points halfway between two numbers. Here, the hour hand is halfway between the seven and the eight. Because the time is past seven o'clock and not all the way to eight o'clock yet, we call that half past seven o'clock. Let's find the time on this clock. The hour hand is between the one and the two. That means it's half past one o'clock. Let's try this one. Our hour hand is between the four and the five. So it is half past four o'clock. Now you can tell the time to the half hour when that hour hand is stuck right in between two different numbers. It is half past the smaller number, not the bigger number, because remember, we haven't gotten there yet but it is half past whichever number is smaller unless it's between the 12 and the one. The 12 is bigger than the one, but 12 o'clock comes before one o'clock. So if the hour hand is between 12 and one, it's half past 12. For all the other numbers, just look to which number is smaller. For example, if it's between the two and the three, which number is smaller? Two is smaller. So that would mean that it is half past two o'clock. Now let's try a word problem. Tim plays soccer at half past nine o'clock. He eats lunch at half past one o'clock. He sees a movie at half past two o'clock. What time does he play soccer? Half past nine o'clock. What time does he eat lunch? Half past one o'clock. What time does he see a movie? Half past two o'clock. We need to know what Tim is doing at the time shown on this clock. There's our hour hand. It is between the two and the three. That means, like I said earlier, that it is half past two o'clock. So where do we see half past two o'clock? Not here. Not here. Here it is, half past two o'clock. But remember, in this problem, we're not writing the time. We're writing what Tim does. 
What does the problem say Tim does at half past two o'clock? He sees a movie. Here's a tricky word problem. Tyra has a piano lesson at five o'clock. The lesson ends at half past five o'clock. How much time is Tyra at her lesson? To solve this problem, I drew a clock face for us. Tyra's lesson starts at five o'clock, so I drew my hour hand pointing right at the five. The problem says that her lesson ends at half past five, so I drew that hour hand right in between the five and the six. Now, did that change show a half hour or an hour? Well, think for a second. If it had been an hour, then the hour hand would have moved all the way from the five to the six, but it didn't. The hour hand moved from the five to halfway between the five and the six. That doesn't sound like a full hour to me. When a full hour has passed, that means that the hour hand has moved from one number all the way to the next number, so it can't be an hour. Tyra's lesson lasted a half hour. Great job, first grade. I love and miss every one of you. Special shout out to Aries, Jaden, Onellis. Onellis, I did this in pink for you. All that pink writing was for you. And Michael and Haley and Noah, I love you guys. Stay safe.